this is me and today I am actually competing in endurance. So I'm here at the Endurance GB Siren Sister ride and if you watched my video a few months back I actually did a challenge Esme endurance with Beth Endurance and that was so much fun. We were actually supposed to do a competition together um, quite a while back but it was kind of like every time we booked something it would be cancelled so I am very excited to be here today. Um, so I'm going to be riding Tizzy and Beth is going to be riding Qantas I believe. So I actually feel kind of lazy because usually when I go to a competition I wake up really early getting all the horses groomed ready for the day packing everything up driving here when Beth has camped here last night and she's had to do all the grooming and things I stayed at a very nice hotel so I've just rocked up here this morning so I think I should probably go over to Beth say hi and help her get ready. So here is Beth, as you guys would know from the last endurance video. So Beth, how was how was last night sleeping here? Are the horses okay? It's actually really good. It was a little bit noisy with the whinnies, yep. but um, that's Qantas's first overnight stay. Oh wow! So I'm really pleased that he didn't escape and kind of cause chaos around the venue. Oh. So, yeah, they they both turned up clean, but now they're they're quite dirty because they both oh. rolled. And so have I got some grooming to do? You though? do have some grooming. Because I was going to say I was feeling quite guilty that you've been here looking after the horses, and I'm just sort of rocked up but I guess I can use my grey cleaning skills with Tizzy. So. I mean, you do have the grey, so yeah, <laughs> you're well qualified for this. Yeah. So what's the plan for today then? So today we're going to do um, a 40 kilometre. It's on the EGB Try Before You Buy scheme. So mm -hmm. it means that you can compete in a graded ride um, without kind of being affiliated. So you don't have to be a member. Oh, cool. um, so you are deemed as a novice. Yes. So we have got a speed range of between 8 to 14 kilometres an hour that we're allowed to do. Okay. Um, Qantas is also a novice yep. <laughs> um, and he's probably the least experienced of everyone because at least you've been riding before yep. <laughs> whereas Qantas this is his first competition oh wow I know so no pressure for him oh. um, so we're going to try and aim about 12k an hour mm -hmm. We've got the full complement of crew here today. So yep. two of my family are going to crew you and two of them are going to crew me. Awesome. Meet us out on course and make sure we make it round okay, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Should we get grooming then? I think so. It'll take a while. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got my sponge brush. <laughs> time to... Time to get rid of some of these little stains. She's got a few little grass stains. I think she's had a bit of a, a, bit of a lie down or a bit of a roll. Stand yeah. still, please. She's a lot cleaner than my grades would be <laughs> on a show day, I've got to say. I mean, she did have a bath, believe it or not. You oh no, like I can, I can believe it. I can definitely believe it. The state of Casper recently. I mean, the good thing about endurance is that out on course they're going to get covered in water anyway. So if you True. start a little bit grubby by the time you get back, they're clean. Yep. <laughs> so why <is> the back legs? <laughs> It was quite lazy, it's quite nice. I mean, just hold and someone else groom my horse. Hey. You know, I don't feel so bad about staying at the hotel last night now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were just chatting about the course that we're going to do um, at the EGB Siren Sister Ride, and it is possibly one of the most complicated courses I've ever ridden. Um, it kind of goes A, B, C, D, E, G, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then we come back around to D somehow, and then we go L, N, miss out M, we don't go to P, and then we come back to the venue. I think I'm going to have to write it down on my oh, arm. I, yeah, I'm going to get lost. I'm definitely just going to follow you. I'm going to let you do the map reading for this one, yeah. Beth. Because... I always feel sorry for show jumpers because I think it's really hard to learn a course, but when I saw this route, I felt sorry for myself. Yeah, no. <laughs> As a show jumper, not even I understood the map. Yeah, so. you've got to have a good memory and yeah. good map reading skills, I think. <laughs> oh, you're looking a bit cleaner now, Tiz. Yeah, ready to rumble. You're just so pretty. Good girl. Okay, so here are Tizzy and Qantas's logbooks because they're both registered with EGB mm -hmm. and this is basically just a history of all their competitions oh. and these are kept by the secretary to put our scores in while we're out on course. So mm -hmm. we're going to take these, sign in, get yep. our numbers and then we're going to go back. Awesome. Let's go. Do you want Tizzy's? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Beth Langley and Esme Higgs 
After going to the secretary and signing in, it was then time to grab the horses and get them ready for the vetting. So after we walked over there, we first had the farrier where he checked all of the horses shoes. This is really important because when you're doing an endurance ride, you can be doing a lot of miles and a lot of kilometers and the last thing you want is halfway through your ride, one of your shoes falling off. So first Qantas was checked and then it was Tizzy's turn and luckily all all their shoes were good so after the varrier checked them it was then time to do the vetting. In the end all we had to do for the vetting was a trot up because Qantas was so excited being his first ever stay away show and first ever endurance event Beth made the sensible decision to put the horse first and moved us from the 40k ride down to the 30k ride just because he is a young horse and we didn't want to push it. So here I am with Tizzy doing our trot up and she was such a good girl. The vets were very happy with her. So then it was time to go back and get tacked up. All right, so we've done our vetting uh, because we're only doing a pleasure ride today. Um, it was quite nice, just had to do the trot up. That was very easy. Tizzy was such a good girl, but now we're tacking up and I, I forgot how different the tack is. So it's quite cool. Um, we're just gonna clip on her reins and things to her head collar, I forgot how cool it is. <laughs> um, she's got her um, breastplate on, got the really cool saddle. Yeah, look. Excited. Little bit. <laughs> yes. Ready to see. Ready, ready to pop it in. <laughs> so easy just to tack up. I know. I um, went on a fun ride and I put leather tack on her the other day. I couldn't believe how many buckles I had yeah. to do <laughs> Oh, so cool, got the water bottle holder, so if I get thirsty along the way. It's always super grumpy for the girl. Oh, is that not your favourite thing? She's spotted Qantas. What's he doing? What I is the little chestnut doing? It was so pretty. Once Tizzy was tacked up, it was then Qantas's turn. And also yeah. before we set off, we had a last minute little pep talk and a little, little chat about the course because it was quite complicated. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I'm leaving on you. A, B, C, D, E, F, They are tiny G. though, so keep your eyes peeled. D. So Esme, don't think she's going in, but if you see something yep. and you think, mm -mm, yep. just shout like, Beth does the letter. <laughs> yes. My top tip to any endurance rider it's every single turn look down it because I have lost the championship by going the wrong way and I'm still a bit bitter about it. Yep. Right. Let's get you on. Oh, probably have to be the girl that went to your arm because she's, she's a breather out of her. Yep. Okay. Yep. Release, by the way. You That's are fine. I have, I have the tizzy. <laughs> <laughs> You're in control. How's the... Um, they honestly feel lane. perfect. Yeah. Two yeah. more down from me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> We're now out on course, but that wasn't the only race that was happening today. The crew had to get into their vans and get to the crewing point in time to meet us. They also had to set up all of the food, the water, and make sure that they were all ready for us to arrive. One of the most 
most important aspects of endurance is keeping the horse as comfortable as possible and you can really see how crucial the team is in an endurance race. Here you can see me collecting a slosh bottle and pouring the water on Tizzy to help cool her down. Although this was only a 30k ride, the team that was helping me crew today have competed all the way up to FEI level. So not only was it great practice for the team, but it was also great experience for me to see what it's like competing at a high level in endurance. And poor Qantas might have found the sloshing a little bit exciting. He's like, holy cow. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Got to start somewhere. I don't know this. Oh, I'll have, I'll have a Jaffa cake, have a Jaffa. please. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Probably not I'll be good. Drink. I've got water. Go <laughs> really good, thank you. So much fun. <laughs> Lob that one over her head. Okay. I've been around enough to know what I'm saying. To... Okay, steady. It's but deep. I dream of something deep. more. Good lad. And I might be down to help them fight for a mission if I knew what all the fighting was for. Cause you got an endless list to twist when things aren't going your way You got them convinced the facts are fiction, different spin every day I'm not gonna tell you what you're missing, you wouldn't listen anyway But now that I'm here I've got something to say This is the last chance to tell you that I'm not coming back It's the last chance to prove With my vision. Thank you. Good luck. Cause we dream of something more. They're not gonna hear you cause the truth is loud and soon somebody will listen. I hope you know what all the fighting was for. Ooh, cause I got an endless list of gifts when things start going my way. You may be convinced that I can't win, but I don't care what you say. I'm not gonna stand for your so called mission. I don't believe it. Really well, I'm really impressed with how he is with horses going past him. So he gets a little bit angsty when he realizes they're behind, but as they come past, he's not pulling, he's letting them go, which is perfect. By the time we got to the second crewing, I found out that Tizzy's favorite thing in the world is having her head scratched and having water tipped all over it. Oh, I, will, no. I will give you back control. She just wants a good old head scratch. <laughs> It was a good thing that it was a warm day because I got quite a bit of water not only on Tizzy but on myself. Although we did offer water to Tizzy, the only thing she wanted is, you guessed it, a good head scratch.
another one. The check in point is there. Where are we going now? You're going to be going back out. Oh, sorry, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you very much. There you go. That better? Yes. Oh, what are So I think we're about over halfway now. Um, Tippy just had a little shake. She loves having her head scratched, so we've just dug some water over her head, which I think she very much enjoyed. Yeah. Really fun, really fun. We've got a lot of trotting. Oh, speed demon, okay. but that was so much fun. <laughs> might have been complete but we weren't finished yet once we got back to where we were staying it was really important for us to get the horses as comfortable as possible so there were lots of buckets of water sponging off and of course tizzy got lots of head scratches and the horses also got lots of water to drink we also did some practice listening to their heart rate which is often used in higher level endurance both horses were feeling great and honestly they both felt so fit they could probably go around and do it again look at them marching over to the vet once they were happy and cooled off it was then time for me and beth to put our masks on and go over to the vet gate and have them checked out so again we did a trot out which tizzy very much enjoyed she always seemed very interested in that cone but the vets were really happy with both horses and overall it was a great day i promise it's not on that's fine okay cool tizzy this is a thank you for being such a good girl Thank you. Good girl. You enjoying that? Good for the Baileys. Baileys horse feed. Yes. How was your first experience of an endurance ride? It was so much fun. Yay. Such an adrenaline <laughs> rush, especially right at the end. We went over the finish line. 
just awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I actually find cantering over the finish line for pleasure rides and things, as long as it's safe, a really good practice for when they're going up racing. So mm -hmm. Qantas's first ride today, yes. I'm so proud of you him for actually so well. around. Thank you. Um, it's going to take him a fair few years, about four years to get up to FEI and actually do any racing. Mm -hmm. But if we practice those racing finishes now, yep. we never know how he'll do. So yes. how did you find the route? What was that like? That was really cool. It was so pretty as well. Yeah, we were going cool. through the woods, we were going through the fields, some really pretty villages as well. Yeah, it was like quintessentially British. It was. It? It you was. were really good at keeping a nice even pace as well. We were Aww. perfect pleasure ride pacing. Yes. Um, and going up and down and containing Tizzy mm -hmm. from not letting her go too fast. She pretty much did want to canter the whole way around. She looked very bouncy. She was quite bouncy. I felt <laughs> like I'm gonna, definitely going to be aching quite a bit tomorrow. Yeah. But. And I think actually Qantas went really well. He went mm. behind and in front of you. He was okay with people passing. We had a slight drama at the crew point where he yep. got me off and yep. at least we got him back. Yes. <laughs> came Tizzy right back and to you. Tizzy. Yes. Tizzy and you stayed calm and actually I've had a really lovely day. So yeah, thank it's been you. so much fun. No, thank you so much for um, inviting me here today and You're welcome. letting me ride Tizzy. She's been awesome. I think I'm going to finish today's video off here, guys. Be sure to go and follow Beth on Instagram and follow her YouTube channel. I'll leave some links in the description below and up on screen. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.